This is JD and I am here with Joyce Talk. In today's video, my focus is on the decline of Facebook and the reasons for people losing interest in it. Point number one, the rise. Zuckerberg launched the Facebook on February 4th, 2004 and soon after got sued by three of his Harvard seniors for using their original idea and went for a settlement. Facebook has been around for a long time now, about 18 years since it was first started. It has grown, short changes, new features and even a new name last year, Meta. Facebook as a company has shown growth including apps like WhatsApp, Messenger and Instagram. Point number two, suck the icon. 2010 was big year for Mark Zuckerberg. He was named Times Person of the Year seven years after starting Facebook and the social network, a blockbuster biopic made him a sensation. In July 2021, Mark Zuckerberg was touted to become the world's richest man. He was sitting on $142 billion, just third in the line to the top. He was an outlier, Harvard dropout, gifting the world a medium to connect and even help small business. Zuckerberg was married to his college sweetheart, Priscilla Chan. Together, they became America's most generous donors. Zuckerberg, the face of the social media revolution, epitomized success. The youth and young aspiring entrepreneurs began idolizing him an icon instantly. Point number three, reasons of downslide. Mark Zuckerberg faced scandal after scandal during the last decade running Facebook. It all started with the saga of Facebook's failure in ensuring privacy for user data. 2016 was a tough year for Facebook and it faced controversies for removing an iconic Vietnam War photo, suspending video of the Dakota Access Pipeline protests and misinforming surrounding the 2016 US presidential election. In November, BuzzFeed and Bloomberg reported that Facebook spent the second half of 2016 trying to buy TikTok's predecessor, Musical.ly. In 2018, reports revealed that the social network was used to incite genocide in Myanmar and Zuckerberg testified before Congress following the reveal that Cambridge Analytica used Facebook user data to target voters. We didn't do enough to prevent these tools from being used for harm as well. And that goes for fake news, for foreign interference in elections and hate speech, as well as developers and data privacy. We didn't take a broad enough view of our responsibility, and that was a big mistake. And it was my mistake, and I'm sorry. I started Facebook, I run it, and I'm responsible for what happens here. The FTC fined Facebook a record-breaking US dollars, five billion in 2019. The latest scandal on Zuckerberg's plate has been about political advertising on Facebook, especially going into the 2020 election. Over the years, Facebook developed the dark side. Point number four, fortunes decline. Zuckerberg's fortunes have declined rapidly in the December 2021 quarter. The social media giant showed a decline in users and his forecast for the first quarter of 2022 was lower than expected. Shareholders began panic selling and Facebook lost 300 billion investors dollars in a day. 
This was on 3rd day of February of 2022. Young people especially have found a lot less joy on Facebook and Instagram, said Rebecca Jennings. Perhaps most damaging, as Jennings, who covers internet culture for Vox, said, is the flight of young people away from Facebook and Instagram and onto rival TikTok, which is growing at hyperspeed. Facebook's response the so-called metaverse is not quite ready and not quite cool. The year 2020 was the first time Facebook saw an exodus of more than 500 major advertisers. Facebook's ad income has plunged further as companies are not willing to splurge on online ads, the war in Ukraine and global inflation. Facebook, which relies on ads for 97% of its revenue, is taking the hit. Zuckerberg's accounts are bleeding. He lost 50% of his wealth in less than 9 months. Point number 5. Is there a road to recovery? With 2 billion logins daily, Facebook is still in the race. However, for years now, the use of the Facebook has been gradually declining. Half a million users, mostly from Africa, Latin America and India, stopped using it towards the end of the year 2021. According to a report by Good Trust, Facebook has 30 million dead people. Also, it is important to notice that many people simply do not know how to use Facebook. Some people also left the app because of privacy concerns. Other reasons for the decline can be slow growth in numbers, low revenue, failure in generating money from reels. However, for the investors in the company, the more worrying part is a privacy crackdown by Apple that has curtailed Facebook's ability to target ads on iPhones and increasing spending in the company's dramatic quest to develop a virtual reality future it calls the metaverse. Recent departure of the longtime chief operating officer Sheryl Sandberg did not help either. It comes as meta faces a slowdown in advertising sales and more competition from rivals such as TikTok. Notably, Facebook whistleblower Francis Hogan is skeptical Meta can recover with Mark Zuckerberg as CEO. Thank you and goodbye for now. Stay blessed. See you in my next video. Thank you for watching.